In this video, I'm going to talk about delivery orders and delivery features. So basically, you have the ability to do pickup orders as well as delivery orders. So you may want to do your own delivery or you may already have DoorDash, Uber Eats, Grubhub, Amazon, or any of those other delivery companies doing delivery for you. But at the same time, you also want to do it yourself or you don't want to use them. You want to do everything yourself. Well, you can do that. Uh, it has that feature built in. So let me show you how to access that and how to do your own deliveries. So when you press the order online page, uh, of course, it'll take you to the order online page. But what I, what I want to show you is the back end of how to set up your deliveries. So here's the back end of your website. Remember, anything that has to do with your order online page is all controlled from this area. 99% of the time, you will be using this feature here, all these buttons here, okay? But what we're going to focus on is the delivery areas, okay? So we're going to press Clover Order Settings. And then you'll see this blue screen here. These are all your different options you could do. But we're going to uh, focus on two specific features, I mean two specific sections. That is the order types right here. And the other one is delivery areas and fees. So these two are very important, okay? So let's go ahead and start with the order types. The first thing you want to do is you want to make sure delivery is available. So as we can see from here, delivery is not enabled. So that means that we cannot currently take delivery. So we have to press the edit button and enable delivery. If yours is already enabled, then you don't have to worry about this step. But one other thing to, to remember is that you have to, where it says delivery order, you have to say yes, okay? So we're gonna say yes to say it's a delivery order because it's not gonna know if this is delivery or not. So you have to let the system know. Once you tell it it's a delivery order, then they just press save, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead I'm going to go ahead and press save. Now that I have my delivery enabled, which you can see from, from here, let me add some items to the card here. I'll order, let's say I'm a customer. I'm going to order all these things here. I'm going to order some fruit. I'll order this, strawberries here. I'll order some mangoes. And I'm going to order uh, ready-made made meals right here. These are out of stock. I'll order this one, Kraft Mac Cheese Frozen. Okay, I'm just, I'm just randomly choosing some items just to give you an idea. And then when I press checkout, I am presented with the checkout page. So the checkout page is going to ask me, um, how, would I, how would I like my order? I have either their delivery or pickup, okay? If I choose delivery, it's going to ask me for an address. So this is the part where you want to add your delivery zones because what if I put an address that's 30 miles away, right? I can't deliver that far, or maybe you are delivering that far, but if you want to limit your delivery radius, you have to change that from the back end. So how do you do that? You go right here, delivery areas and fees, and then you press add zone, okay? So let me delete this one because I do this, did this one uh, earlier, um, but let me just show you how those that works. Okay, so delivery areas and fees, again, it's right here. So I'm gonna press add zone, and give it any name you like. You can say Zone 1. You can say um, Neighborhood 1 or whatever you want to call it. You can say my 5-mile radius zone. I'm just going to call it Zone 1. And next, quest next question is going to ask me, is it is going to ask me, do you want this to be a circle or a shape? I'm going to say a circle. So I'm going to put 10-mile um, radius, okay? If you're in the city, I don't, I don't recommend doing 10 miles because it may be a lot of traffic. Uh, so you know your area better, better than I do. This is just an example, so don't try to do what I'm doing here because I'm just trying to show you an example. Minimum order. Um, see, in my order, in my card here, my minimum order was, uh, let me go back here. My order was uh, $4.81. So you have to ask yourself the question, will you deliver a meal or a pat or food that's only $4? So if you're okay with that, then you can leave this blank, okay? But if you're charging a high delivery fee, like like five bucks or ten bucks or something high, then you can leave that blank. But if you're charging like a one dollar delivery fee, then it's not worth it to deliver this for four, uh, a four dollar um, order. So you want to make sure you have the right settings here. So in this case, I'm going to put ten dollar minimum order, and I'm going to tell the system that I'm delivering to ten mile radius. Okay, so I'm going to press draw zone. See how it automatically drew it for me. Uh, one thing to note is that it's a radius, okay? So it basically is 10 miles radius. So if 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 if, if there's a lot of turns over here, let's say it takes you, um, you have to turn a lot of streets to get here, it may be 15 miles driving, 
but if you go straight across, it's 10 miles. So that's one thing to keep in mind, because uh, some merchants, uh, they they set, your, set their delivery radius, and then when they add the address to their GPS, the GPS tells them to get to here, it's 13 miles. That's because you're turning, so it's it, this is a straight line. So if you want to uh, do that, I'll show you the I'll show you the next step how to do that. But for now, I'm gonna just uh, keep it like that. Now the next step is gonna ask me uh, free delivery. Let's say um, I want to offer free delivery. So if they spend uh, 50 bucks, I'm gonna give them a free delivery. So in other words, they have to order 50 bucks to get this fee waived. Okay, so you can do that here. And then fixed delivery fee. Uh, this is very important. Don't put anything here. This is this will override any delivery fees you added. So fixed delivery fee means if you put a dollar here, that means that this rule is no longer applicable. It doesn't apply. So keep this blank, okay? Only use this if you are delivering to the whole United States, okay? So if not, uh, if not, then uh, if you're not, then just rely on this one, okay? The next question I ask you is other zone delivery fees. Let's say you want to charge a dollar delivery fee if they order within this area, but if they order from Bloomery or um, Slainsville, you want to charge seven bucks. So you can put seven dollars here. What that means is that if they order from here, they get charged seven bucks. If they order from here, it'll be a dollar. Okay. So hopefully that makes sense. And then um, delivery fee name. So you can give it a name what appears on the receipt. Remember, this name doesn't appear nowhere. This is just for you to remember. This is what the customer sees on the receipt. So you can call it service fee, delivery fee, delivery charge, whatever name you want. The default name is delivery charge. So on the receipt, you'll see this name on there. I recommend um, not putting anything here because they may order from way over here, right? And you can't deliver there for seven bucks so or 10 bucks. So keep that blank too. So the only options I recommend is just like that. Unless you want to do, unless you want to give them free delivery, you can fill that out too. Remember, if you're not charging for delivery, if it's like that, leave this blank too, okay? So don't put like a zero here because it's already zero there. You don't want to duplicate it. All right, uh, let me go ahead. Remember, once you draw your zone, once it's drawn, you have to press this button right here, okay? Once you press that button, press Save Changes, just like that. Okay, now I'm going to talk about something else, uh, which I mentioned earlier, was which was the custom. Um, custom map or the custom shape so press add zone and this time I'm going to say custom custom map okay and then once you write the word custom map it's going to ask me circle or shape so in this one I'm going to say shape the reason why I'm doing a shape is because I want to give you an idea how to draw a shape let's say you located here this is your location by the way and uh, you don't want to deliver to Berkeley because this area has a lot of traffic uh, it's very hard to drive around. There's always construction going on, and your employees can't make it there on time. Uh, so you want to avoid this area. So you can actually do that. Um, so you just just you can choose a color or keep the same color. Okay, um, and then put and then put your mouse over it, and then just draw a shape. Okay, so I'm gonna go I'm gonna go everywhere. I'm gonna go. I say I'll just say I del I deliver to these area right here. So everything within here, I'm gonna charge. Three dollars, okay. So three dollar here, one dollar here, okay. Again, I'm just giving you an idea of how to draw your zones. Once you draw it, make sure to press validate select zones like that. You see it, and then I press save changes, okay. So once you press save changes, your delivery zones are active. So now when I check out, when I add my address, it will match it up with that zone I drew, and it will charge the customer accordingly to where they're located. Okay, so if they're located with the blue area, they get charged a dollar. If they're located within the red area, they get charged three dollars. And you can draw as many zones as you wish. Uh, so you can draw multiple zones uh, based on how many, how far you're driving, uh, you're, you're delivering out to. Okay, um, let me see if there's anything else worth mentioning here. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, let me go back to order types. And if you decide not to deliver no more, just click edit and turn this off. Okay. Let's say you're only delivering from 3 to 5 p.m. on a Friday, okay? So you want to do a custom hours. See how it says ordering hours, default Clover business hours? Let's say you're only delivering on a Friday. So what you can do is you can go to custom hours, custom hours for order types. And I'm going to say, uh, 
I'm going to say uh, I only deliver on Friday. So I put, put a check mark here. Okay. And then, uh, sorry, Friday is this one. I say I only deliver on Friday from, I'm going to make up a day. I'm going to make up a time, 12 to 3. Okay. So I deliver from 12 to 3 on Friday. These days is closed. I don't deliver on these days. I only deliver on a Friday. Okay. So, uh, you press add custom, oh, sorry, I'm, I'm gonna, sorry, delivery hours. Okay, you can give it a name you like. Press add. Once you do that, go to go to order types, and then you'll see you'll see a, some, a new section here. It says delivery hours. Now what that's telling the system is that your delivery hours are only Friday, those hours I, I chose earlier, okay? So those are my delivery hours, okay? So you can do that. If you decide, if you change your mind, you wanna go back to the Clover Business Hours and then click that. So now you're probably wondering, what's the Clover Business Hours? The Clover Business Hours are your hours that you saved on clover.com, okay? Let me show, let me tell you where that's at. So once you press store settings here, if you put your mouse right here, these are your Clover Business Hours, see it? These are the hours that the order types will use but if you if you don't want to deliver during the Clover business hours, then uh, then you just obviously just go here and change them and add them and then choose and then select it from there. Okay. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And uh, again, you can add more delivery options as well. Let's say you are delivering to a business. You can say um, business delivery. Your business delivery has a minimum order of hundred dollars, so you can actually do that. You can say business delivery. And then you can add your business delivery hours, which can be from like 2 to 5 p.m. on a Thursday, something like that. And then you would just do the same rules. All right, hopefully this video helped out. Again, if you click on video tutorials, there's many more videos on how to do many other things. If you click on um, this button here, which is called Feedback Help, this is a very important uh, documentation right here. If you click on it. So when you click on it, if, for example, let's say you want to you know how to hide a category, just click on Hide. It will show you how to hide an item. If you want to hide a category, just type in hide, click on hide a category, and then put your mouse over, and then you can see how to do all that stuff. So this thing will come in handy a lot as you continue to learn the program, um, and then, or you can just look it up this way. But by searching, it's much faster. Let's say you forgot how to do custom hours. Type in custom hours here, and it'll show you. Okay, custom hours. Let's say you want to do custom announcement. You can do custom announcement. That's just another feature that's built into it. So you can make an announcement to your customers. Okay, hopefully this video helped out. Uh, thank you for watching. Have a great day.